So, hello guys, uh, my name is Nuno Teixeira. Um, the last video we end up here on the steel design point. So, now let's do it. Let me switch to robot and let me go to steel aluminium design. Now let's let's go to the groups tab and define a new group. You define your groups over here. As I as I as I said in a previous videos. Let's define the upper shorts group. Let's press new. It will be group number one. The name will be as I said upper shorts. We are going to use this material, already defined a steel. We are going to use this material, steel, little code 3, steel S235, okay. And the member list will be the upper shorts, okay. Let me switch to the right view and select here the upper shorts, okay, press the control button. Now let me go to section and I want all the true run profiles which thickness is bigger than three millimeters. Okay. Europe three run profiles thickness bigger than three millimeters. If you press one it will be added. Another one. Okay, and another one. All of them press OK. Now let me press OK and this group will be saved. Next route will be the lower shorts. Lower shorts. I'm going to select the lower shorts over here. I'll press Ctrl and select this and also this one over here. Very good. And I also want for this group all the T-run profiles which thickness is bigger than 3 millimeters. If you go to sections, it those sections defined previously will be saved here. So just press OK. Press save. Now let's define the diagonals. New and over here. Diagonals. Now I want the front view. Press control and select all the diagonals. There we go with all the diagonals. It's this one here and also this one here. And I want all the three run profiles which thickness is bigger than three millimeters already done. Okay, now we need to define The bracing okay and I'm going to select while pressing control this and also this so this, this one okay very good same profiles for this cross section okay are here that's okay Press OK and save. Find a new group and call it beams. I'm going to define to define um, in this group all the cross beams. Okay, so select this beam. Sorry about that. This beam also. Okay, is this sorry not parametric section sections okay. Save OK. I'm going to save this. OK. Let me switch to this view. Groups already defined. I can close them over here. I want to see. 
I want to see the cross sections. I'm going to switch to code group, code group design option. I'm going to switch on the optimization group. I'm also setting this as wait. Robot is going to pick the cross sections that give you the least weight. Okay. I'm going to press all over here. Also all here. I'm going to switch off the save calculation results. I'm going to press go. There are the first results. Okay, now I'm going to left mouse because it's a change all button. And when you press this button over here, your cross sections are going to change. You may see that by the change of colors. Let me show you. I'm going to press this. As you notice, you have a change of the colors and also this over here. Now, uh, the results are out of date. It is quite normal. You need to run the calculations once again. So I'm going to run the calculations once again. And then perform a calculation over here. Run the change all once again. Close this. Very good. Run this and do this until nothing changes. Okay. This is a iterative process. At some point, it will stop. Okay. Same colors. Now you can run the calc time, and the results will be available now. Very good. Now let's do a last member verification. Uh, I guess I'm going to switch to code group verification. I'm going to select all over here. Uh, over here, I'm also selecting all as I did previously. And I'm going to press the calculations, and there you have your verifications and your ratios regarding yard cross section so very good you may save now your structure and uh, in the next video we will talk about time history analysis okay so thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe and give this video a like it will help me so thank you once again